Okay, I'm in Micro World, and um, one of the things we like to do when we build timers is, you know, have it so that something happens um, every second or so, whatever. If you want to have something show up, I'm just going to have something print out to the command center to say tick, tick, tick every every second. So I'm going to um, write a procedure to tick, and it's just going to show tick in the command center. Um, so, so that's my first step is to write this procedure. The next thing I need to do is create a turtle so that I can um, put something in the on tick um, section of the turtle, right? So I have this, oh, I've created, so I've created my procedure, I've created a turtle, and um, I want to specify the time interval. So 10 in, in micro worlds, 10 means one second, because each one of these um, intervals is, stands for one tenth of a second. And I'm going to say, um, and I, I'm going to, so I'm putting in the time interval and the procedure to be carried out. And there it goes, tick, tick. Tick, tick, okay? So every second it's putting out another tick. So let me do the same thing. Let me stop this one and do the same thing in, show you how what that looks like in, in Code Sculptor. So in Code Sculptor, we're gonna use the simple GUI module. So the, um, the first thing we wanna do is import simple GUI. We write our, our procedure here, our function, we call it in Python, right? Our, our tick function, and all it does is print tick. And then what we do is, instead of creating a turtle, we create a timer. So the way we create a timer is with um, this uh, simple GUI function called create timer. And just like an on tick, where we put, so, so we have to say simple GUI dot, because it's uh, dot create timer because it's in the simple GUI module. Okay, but just like we did in, in ONTIC, we have to specify a time interval and um, the name of the function. So uh, again, I'm using the function name tick. Um, notice this time though I have a 1000 in here. So in Python, time is measured in milliseconds, not tenths of a second, but thousandths of a second. So 1,000 stands for one second. So I'm going to tick every one second. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm assigning um, the output, the return value from create timer to this variable timer. So when you, when you create your timer, you have something to call it. Just like in um, micro worlds, when we create a turtle, the turtle has a name, right? T1. So if we want to talk specifically to T1, we can, um, you know, talk to T1. In um, Python, when we create a timer, we're assigning the output from create timer to this variable timer, and now um, this variable holds the timer, so that we can um, do what we want. Now, notice in micro worlds. You don't have to do anything in particular to start up the, the timer, just as long as our, our stop button is not pushed down. It'll just start up on its own. In um, Python, very important, you need to start the timer. So we have this uh, timer start um, uh, call, function call. Okay, so you can say timer dot, dot start, timer dot stop, um, and there's also a boolean timer dot is running to check and see if the timer is running. So anyway, so here these were our steps. We had to import simple GUI, write the um, the function. Um, we call it an event handler because we're handling every time. Every every one second in this case, because we set a thousand here, um, this is going to get this function is going to get called because we what we did was we registered it here and we said call so basically we're saying call this function every second 
we're going to do is create timer, okay? But nothing's going to happen unless we assign the return value from create timer to a variable and then call start on that variable. So let's plug, run it and see. Tick, 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 tick. Okay? So that's how that guy goes. Um, and can we stop it? Yeah. So now, um, your assignment is to um, figure out how to get this guy to work. So you're going to have to think about what you know about global variables and what you know about um, getting the timer started. And what we want to see printed out instead of tick, tick, tick is we should print out 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on with the counter values. Good luck.